These series of obstacles and tasks have been designed to create an assessment of the physical abilities necessary to perform essential police-related job tasks. Prior to the administration of the test, applicants will be taken on a walkthrough of the course to familiarize them with the course, each station, and the rules of the course. When the test begins, there will only be one applicant on the course at a time. Once the applicant begins the test, their overall time will be tracked and they will be monitored to ensure they proceed through the course in the correct manner and complete all stations to standard. Applicants will have up to three opportunities to successfully complete each station. All applicants begin the physical ability test seated in a patrol car wearing a ballistic vest and seatbelt secured. Once the applicant defeats the seatbelt and departs the car, the clock starts. Applicants leave the patrol car and maneuver around a series of cones and a serpentine route to test their mobility at Station 1. In Station 2, applicants must use control to climb over or under an obstacle, leading them into Station 3, where they must carry 60 pounds for 60 feet. In the video, you can see the applicant carrying two 30-pound weights across a 60-foot stretch. The applicant must not run while carrying the weights. In Station 4, applicants must drag or carry an 80-pound dummy across 50 feet to a position of cover. This station represents an officer moving a downed officer or potential victim to safety. The entire dummy must be positioned behind cover before this station is complete. Once the dummy has been dragged to safety, applicants must run across a stretch of terrain to a simulated 4-foot ditch jump to Station 5, shown in the video by the orange cones. The last stretch of the course brings the applicant to Station 6, where each applicant must show control and climb over a chain link fence to a patrol car. The last station, Station 7, is a patrol car push. The patrol car will be in neutral and must be pushed 25 feet. At 25 feet, the clock will be stopped. All components in Station 1 through 7 must be completed within 2 minutes and 45 seconds. In the event of adverse weather, such as snow or ice on the ground, the Sheriff's Office can set up an indoor course at their training facility.